If you've ever wanted to capture part of your computer screen and use it in another document, like a Word document or for any particular reason, you can use what's called the snipping tool. Um, my computer has two versions. I have Snip and Sketch and the Snipping Tool, which is the older one. So if you want to find it, you can just click the little Start button and start typing the word Snip. We have Snipping Tool and Snip and Sketch. Um, snipping Tool is the old one that's apparently going to be phased out. So I'm going to show you Snip and Sketch. And with Snip and Sketch, you go up here and you it will gray out your screen so you can capture whatever part of the screen that you want. So if I only want part of this castle, you can see that I've captured it. I can save it, okay? Um, it's gonna be a PNG and I can you know, play with where I'm gonna save it. So that's one option. You can also copy it. So if you don't need to save it, you just need it temporarily. If I copy, and then I go say, for example, to a Word document and I control V, I can put the picture so um, you can also, let's see here, let me do one more for you. Um, let me go back to the web page. Um, all right, let's snip part of this right here. So I'm going to use that same snipping, snip and sketch. So I'm going to hit new and I'm going to grab just this section here. Now, if there's anything you want to do to the image first before you copy it, you can add highlighter marks, um, so I can highlight things, I can pick color, I can pick the size, you just kind of have to play around with it. Um, you can erase what you did by using the eraser. If you want to do like a highlight straight line, you can use a ruler, click on it, just kind of bring it down and kind of line it up and that will control your highlights so it's not all like wavy. Um, you've got, um, markers and pens and pencils. You just have to kind of mess around with it. You can even crop it even more if you need to. But at this point, if I've added highlights and now I go to copy and it's going to actually capture the highlights in with it. So let me show you what happens. I go back to Word. I'm going to do a control V to paste. Okay. So again, you can capture anything you want. Um, you could even capture part of a menu um, when you're working. So if you wanted to show somebody the ribbon in Microsoft Word um, or even a menu, you can do that same thing. So I can use, I'm just going to go to new and I'm going to capture part of my ribbon up here in Microsoft Word. I'm just going to copy it and paste it back into Word just so you can see. So you can copy and paste into a graphics program because it is a picture. So I could take this into Photoshop and um, any, any program where you can put a picture basically. So that's your snip and sketch, um, how to capture part of your computer screen and then either save it, um, add any highlights or things like that. You can, you know, if you need to point something out with an arrow and then you just take it into whatever program you want and you do a control V to paste it.